Ceramic water filters are one of the oldest and most affordable ways to clean your drinking water. They're made from natural materials and work in a pretty simple way, by physically blocking out dirt, bacteria, and pathogens from your drinking water. Since the filter pores are super tiny, we're talking less than one micron, they can trap harmful bacteria and even parasites like Giardia and Cryptosporidium. And the nice part? They don't remove the good minerals your body needs. But yeah, they do have their downsides. The filtration is pretty slow, plus the ceramic can be delicate. If you drop it, or if too much pressure builds up, it might crack. So in this video, let's take a closer look at ceramic water filters. The good and the not so good, so you can figure out if it's the right fit for your home. So, what exactly is a ceramic water filter, and how does it work? The filter is made of ceramic material that has tiny pores, around 0.5 microns in size. But that's not it. They're cleverly designed with a labyrinth-like interior. This complex maze of sharp angles traps any fine particles that manage to slip past the outer layer, catching microscopic contaminants with impressive efficiency. And that's not all. Most high-performance ceramic filters don't work solo. Manufacturers often pair the ceramic shell with activated carbon or ion exchange resin, adding chemical filtration power. While the ceramic deals with physical impurities and microbes, the internal media neutralizes chlorine, fluoride, heavy metals, and chemical residues. Some of the higher-end filters also have silver embedded in the ceramic. Silver helps prevent bacteria, mold, and algae from growing on the filter, so it stays cleaner, longer. All in all, ceramic filters offer a natural, low-tech way to clean your water. No electricity, no harsh chemicals, and they've been doing the job for centuries. You'll usually see these in portable filters, great for camping or emergency use. But they're also used in homes, especially where water quality isn't the best. Now let's talk about some of the pros of ceramic water filters. They're great for well water and untreated sources, removing bacteria, sediment, and microplastics. When paired with media like activated carbon or ion exchange, they can also reduce chlorine, VOCs, fluoride, and heavy metals like lead. They keep healthy minerals like calcium and magnesium in the water, which is a bonus for overall health. They're affordable, compact, and don't need plumbing or electricity. Ideal for small spaces, travel, or emergencies. Ceramic filters are reusable. Just scrub the outer layer and keep using. With proper care, they can last six months to two years. And since they're made from natural materials, they're also a more eco-friendly option. But they do have a few downsides you'll want to keep in mind. First, because the pores are so tiny, the filtration process is slow. This is especially noticeable in gravity-based ceramic filters. It can take hours to get a full batch of clean water. Next, the ceramic material itself is fragile. It can crack if dropped or exposed to too much pressure, which means you need to handle it carefully. Clogging is another common issue. The fine pores trap a lot of particles, but that also means they get blocked easily. So regular cleaning is a must if you want to keep the flow rate steady. Also, while ceramic filters are great at removing bacteria and larger pathogens, some viruses are small enough to pass through the 0.5 micron pores, and they don't reduce water hardness. So if you have hard water, you'll need a water softener. So while ceramic filters are great for basic filtration, they do have their limits, and they require a bit of maintenance to perform well over time. Some well-known brands that offer ceramic water filters include Dalton, known for their British Birkefeld gravity systems, and Walter, which makes sleek countertop filters with ceramic and carbon elements. Do you use ceramic water filters? Comment down your experiences below. And for another useful clean water guide, check out this video next.